The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. <laughs> This is important. This means something. Amazing hacks. Inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. Hello and welcome back to Element 14 Presents. My name is Dave and in today's episode, we will build a MIDI controlled light box. You might recognize this design from Close Encounters of the Third Kind and that's exactly where I got the inspiration from. I thought about using the USB MIDI library on the Arduino Micro. Sounds good? Well, then let's get started. In Steven Spielberg's Close Encounters of the Third Kind, we see a light board that seems to light up along to the music. The light panel is separated into a matrix of 12 by 6 segments. So it is really tempting to think that the 12 lights are half tones and the 6 rows are octaves. When you watch the video as often as I do, you kind of notice that it's not really the same. In the sequence where the aliens land, spoiler alert, the guy on the keyboard plays in two scales and it still shows the same on the light board. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where you start with the notes, so I thought it might make the most sense if I just start at a C and go from there each half step. And if you go an octave higher, you also go higher on the LED matrix. When you then play the music in G major, the first notes even make sense. So in the movie, the notes aren't always showing up where you would expect them. And I think that's just because the producer said, mm, I don't like it, that's the close to each other. Make it, make it more. So let's talk about the raw setup, like how I imagine the project to work. I have basically two MIDI devices and it's this tiny keyboard here and then there's my computer. So my tiny little keyboard here has two modes. The first mode is just to play notes and the second one is MIDI out. If I turn on MIDI out, I don't hear anything anymore. I designed a little MIDI adapter board so I can get the MIDI output from the keyboard into the Arduino and then forward it to my computer. Then in my computer I can start GarageBand and play some tones via the MIDI output of the keyboard. Let's take a look at the MIDI connector boards and solder them up. All right, so <laughs> I thought nothing could go wrong with six parts on a PCB, but I actually messed up something. The 220 ohms on the output should have been a very strong pull up for the output of the optocoupler. I didn't do that. I put it between the output of the optocoupler and the output pin. So, <laughs> whoops, I need to modify the PCB a bit. Switched it into MIDI mode. Let's just upload it again. 
and there we have it. So I cleared it and I'm gonna push C. It's 90, 30, 32. And I'm gonna release it. 32, 30, 0. Okay, that's nice. So my plan is just make a rudimentary, make the note on, note off work. Sometimes it just scrambles up and then it's then there's an offset in the serial input data and I get a lot of junk on here on the whole. Right now it works. And I've, I've built in a reset that when it plays longer than four seconds, um, it will reset everything. Yeah, there we go. So if anyone knows what's the problem here, um, please feel free to come to the community post and yeah, help me out a bit, please. <laughs> Element 14, we have a problem. Meteor fast approaching. Odds of hitting ship 100%. Never tell me the odds. We're going to die, sir. Jump in Jupiter, does anyone know the maximum sensing range of a laser measurement sensor? I'm afraid I can't answer that, Dave. Will someone tell me the maximum repeatability of a laser measurement sensor? Game over, man. Game over. Fire all lasers. Avert disaster by shooting on over to Element 14 Tech Spotlight. I have laser cut the spray painted wood and also made some additional holes here. This is a second revision. We will have the MIDI port here and over on the other side the USB programming port and the power supply. I <laughs> didn't add a switch. I will get along with that because I just unplug the power supply if I have to. So while this is technically dry, I'm gonna add the connectors and go on from there. All right, demo time. At this point you might be wondering, but Dave, what's the microphone for? And that's a good question. I played around with the FFT libraries a bit and I'm uploading that version of the code right now. So let's take a look. Yeah, voice, voice looks very different on a Spectrum Analyzer. That's all we got for today. I'm very happy with the project. Um, there are, of course, some minor fixes I have to do in the software, but the hardware looks great. For more information, you can click the link in the description. It will lead you to the Element 14 community. There I will share my code and design files, and you can maybe share your opinion about the project or anything that you've come up with that you controlled via via MIDI. I will see you over there at the platform and in the comments as well. Have a nice one. Auf Wiedersehen. I still need to glue this in. <laughs>